Luigi, Luigi, that's not a bunk bed. You're not supposed to sleep up there. Wake up, we got stuff to do. Alright. Uh, <laughs> salutations. This is indeed something awful, and, um, well, basically, as you may or may not have noticed, the finale of this game. I actually had a few better places I wanted to sleep in mind, like, on top of that tree there, but I couldn't get myself to stand on it. On top of the sign there, but I couldn't stand on it. As well as in the final Bowser level, but it wouldn't let me fall asleep there. So let's go to the center of the universe and get started on the finale of this game. Which you technically already seen, but that's besides the point. Anyway, um, yeah. I really don't know what to say, because I've done this before easily. You have no idea how much trouble I had getting this recording going and watch. It's going to fail. Just to bite me and make me do dusty games again and again and again and again, again. Yeah! So I haven't shut down a game since then, so I haven't been able to back up my... Oh, but that's okay, it's not that important. Anyway, I'm <laughs> pretty sure those videos have screwed up audio anyway, but I'm not redoing that again. It's because the game audio derp completely on this. Having a oh, skip cutscene by accident, um, yeah, I've technically uploaded it before already, so I guess that's okay. I'll. Yeah, let's just get going. I'm apparently impatient right now. But, this is it. This is the final level. Oh, I just realized something I wanted to show off. But I can show it off after. <laughs> well, we're off to a great start now, aren't we? Um, I guess I can talk to the Lumas. Yeah. A me? Not fail? Anyway, yeah. Okay, that worked. Um, well, yes. Sequence breaking. Clearly, what I'm trying to let's just let's just stop trying to be fancy. How about that? We just stop trying to be fancy because it's not working in our favor. And yeah, they had to, of course, introduce a new gimmick here with these spotlight gravities for this level, which basically mean basically makes it a timed um, platform that you can see all of, and also you can't really jump ahead of because of um, reasons, which are reasons anyway. Let's continue onwards. And upwards and forwards and backwards, but that's not too important. What is important is going over here and having the first lava planet of the level. Which of course, lava. I, I've been over this so many times, I don't need to go over the logic of this game and, um,. Saiyan being more dangerous than lava. I knew that was gonna happen. Anyway, on this planet, um, these last only a limited time, so hurry. It's basically the name of the game here. Um, there's a few prizes to be had if you're not going to press. Anyway. We finally reached the most dangerous of them, quicksand. Anyway, you'll see a death skull over there that I thought was a life room for some reason. Also, this quicksand planet has a lot of, um... I might be able to live if I keep this up! I live the quicksand! I just dropped my controller, but I live the quicksand. I, I... Come on, do it again, self. 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 
Do it again, self. Well, um, in the final part of this LP, we lived the quicksand. That's cool. I did not know you could do that anyway. I don't want to go too close to that life or else that'll happen and basically screw me up here because now I need to not land on those two and just kind of tank a hit and just go. Okay, I made it. There's a checkpoint here as well, so that's good. Um, I'm just flabbergasted living the quick sand. Oh yeah, bullets home in this game. And then Luigi will burn his bum forever. And ever. Um, oh, there isn't a checkpoint there. I could have sworn there was. Why I was okay with tanking infinite hits here. But I guess I should perhaps be more careful and just tank hits anyway because the controls. I was holding left that in entire time, by the way, when I was going... I was holding right that entire time when I was going left, is what I meant to say there, anyway. Um, since I have health this time, and since I realize there's not a checkpoint here, I'm gonna grab a coin before side flipping and dodging the missile. Okay. Okay, we're good, we're good. We're good. We are indeed something that can be described as Good. Sometimes. Come on, make it to the platform, make it to the platform, make it to the platform. Get over here. There are coins to be had over here eventually. I, I realize continue is there, but I'm gonna, um, keep going get coins. I might have to, um, chip my, I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm gonna, I want coin. I want coin. The whole reason I'm going around this planet twice, because this planet is a good, decently difficult, um, final, yes, Bonsai Bill, I should avoid him. Also, Bullet Bill, I should avoid him, question mark? <laughs> I don't think those Bullet Bills will come back for me. I think I'm good here. I don't know when they became missiles, like, because, like, in, like, 2D games, they're definitely not missiles. This is closer than comfortable would be. Um, just burn myself twice. There's two coins right here for me to get hit by a bullet and lose one of them, but it hardly matters because I'm there, okay. This is harder than you'd think, also, with my lately, my lately skill, um, um, this part's gonna be interesting. Also, Peach is magically kidnapped again. Although, I think, well, no, technically, you haven't seen me, well, you have, but you know what I mean. Yeah, she gets kidnapped again. Because, well, this is the real final boss fight here, and this part, really not a threat and also having um a non preferred camera angle anyway. Take your time, grab this. Don't bother with the life if you don't think you can get it in good time, so I'm not going to. Alright, Bowser. For some reason Bowser Jr. is just like, okay, you fight Bowser and if you win you get the princess. But he's finally I'm just in here to see him, um, win, apparently, according to him, but first he's gonna fight me, because otherwise he's like, yeah, he's gonna rule, apparently. And, um, yeah, he's got big plans, and of course, getting rid of me is the first thing on his list. Second is getting rid of Mario, I'm more important, so I'm the bigger threat. Anyway, boss! Completely different than every other time you fought the guy. He is going to, um, do this. I totally hit him. Okay, I might as well heal. Because there's a bajillion heal opportunities here. Basically, yeah, I hope you're good at the red boulders. With, like, the, um, red insides. Because I'm apparently not.
Anyway, yeah, just you want to um do the usual hit the boulder when you see Bowser, and then hit him again. There we go. That's one hit on the guy. He only takes two hits per form, I believe. And um, spoiler, he has the ability to hit me again. But you didn't see that one coming. But yeah, spoiler, he has multiple forms. You wouldn't expect them to actually like, come up with some new mechanic for the final fight, Bowser, would you? And not, like, reuse mechanics? No, that'd be just silly! Ah, jeez, I am running out of crystals on the planet to the point where I'm actually going to run into a spike bush. Then, if I didn't hit him there, I was gonna lose my, um, power up. But, oh yeah, see, he's taking two now, so that means he's on his last hit. And we're gonna fly off that planet onto another one where, um... Brand new chance to get a coin, actually, anyway. Now you just have to hit him with these things, which is, um... Easier than it should be. And that's one hit on him, and I might as well grab this coin right here before hiding over here and dodging all those and then hitting the thing, hitting him on the rebound of course, run around the planet, smack him out of existence, miss, smack him out of existence, and there we go, and we're on to his final form, and if I remember this music gets pretty intense, but yeah, his final form of course, I have to save the best for last, the way you fought in every other Time. Although he has this move now, which, um, you can't actually dodge in this fight. You can't actually like, counter in this fight, so you just have to, like, guide him to burn himself like usual, like usual, and then just kind of get him in the tail and then smack him. I can't remember if he takes two or three hits in this form. I mean, you'd think it'd be three, but it's been two every other time, so. Also, he's angry now, so he's gonna. Um, Three fire at us. Not really a hard boss, which is um, to be expected because it's a Mario game. Also, I got hit. But can I make this through this with my um, bonus mushrooms? Other fireballs, not. Break on that. Thank you. And I'm gonna go this way, and um, you're all the way over there. Jeez. Okay, there you are. Oop. And I am... Um... Yep, you are dead! Right now! That is the game! That is the final punch that deals Bowser in. Because we all knew Bowser would eventually fall to a fist in the face. It was so obvious from the get-go now, wasn't it? And this ending is, um... I went over in the other recording, but it's very... Sonic, in a way, like it just, it seems to be trying too hard to make the game seem way more intense than it rightly should be, because it's just a Mario game, like, like, you don't, this isn't, you know what I mean, I'm sure, but yeah, the ending's just weird and basically like, hey, you just saved the universe or whatever, except not really, you just beat Bowser, and then the universe ends for some reason or some It's really weird. Anyway, we got the final Grand Star again, technically. Yes, it's clear, which is kind of sad. But there's a bonus video sitting somewhere on my channel of me redoing it if you want to look for it. If you haven't seen that, it is there. Basically, um, because reasons. I'll probably... Um, throw it in the playlist. I'd be I'm just talking about nothing. I'm about to see the credits. Gee, I of course I have one more thing to do in this LP, but it's nothing too major left at this point. Like that's like I've done all the hard parts. I've basically won. Like there's one more little um, basically I, I, I call it an epilogue more than anything. But, um, that's why I got 120 stars again, was to get the epilogue. Um, first time you get all 120 stars, you get the, um, Luigi. And when you get them with, um, Luigi, you get the epilogue, which you'll see. 
You'll see, you'll see. It, it's nothing special, really. But Bowser drunk. He had too many Chocola Colas. And now he's drunk. Maybe he shouldn't have had so much cola. Anyway, yeah. He's gonna have some voice acting that I'm gonna talk over because I can't tell when it is because I can't hear it. But that's okay. And then we have ourselves a nice little supernova. I like how he thought he was gonna be able to create an in a galaxy with one power star left. And I also like how he apparently succeeded at messing things up bad with one power, zero power star now. We saw what we could do with zero power stars. Thank you. Anyway, now the Lumas, um, I believe what's supposed to be happening is the Lumas are going to go and, like, just dive into this, um, black hole thing to stop it from consuming the entire cosmos. I really don't get this ending. It's just a bunch of fancy visuals is really all it is, and, um, yeah. So hopefully my recording is decent, because this is another new method. But that's not what I should be talking about right now. I should be talking about this, um, these accreation discs around this black hole. And then the black hole explodes for some reason. Yeah. And then Rosalina is enormous. It is time for the true boss. Rosalina was the villain all along. Okay, not really. That'd be pretty funny if she was, if she betrayed us. Anyway, yeah. No, I don't hear them, Rosalina. I apologize. But, um, wow, she's huge. Um, I, I uh, remember this. I'll try and bring it up if I eventually LP God, I'm going to have something I'd like to say, but that's as much as I can say. But, like, just, well, I guess I can just, just imagine her squaring off against one of those, like, one of the times where Bowser's super giant. Just, Ro giant Rosalina versus giant Bowser. That'd be interesting, kind of, in a way. Anyway, um, that was a boss, and the final level, and now we're having the ending cutscenes, and we're gonna wake up back in the kingdom that is Mushroom. Yes, we are back home in the Mushroom Kingdom, except there are some changes, like the fact that, um, well... I don't know why, like, if there were changes, well, well, first of all, Guppy's here. Second of all, um, about everyone's favorite character, Queen Bee, is here. Bowser has his alien minions, apparently, and this also, Bowser Jr. is fine. Um, pumpkins are dancing in the square with Koopa, with Toads, and, um, she keep exists, and Bowser's I mean, we get rid of Bowser if we could, like, we, like, just, like, recreate the universe or whatever just happened. I don't know, why don't we just let Bowser get sucked into the black hole? I guess because he's, um, well, I guess this game must have, we already said, I already said that, um, somewhere that, um, Galaxy 2 must happen before Inside Story, so I guess that's why we didn't delete, delete Bowser, because deleting Bowser would have made Fawful Victorious and Inside Story? Mario Timeline Theories for you! Yes, cause they're fun! Also, I'm gonna talk over... Welcome! Welcome, new galaxy! Very important galaxy... Lines... Whatever it is I'm trying to say... Anyway... Now that that's over, we have credits, I'm... I'll be just gonna make this a huge video because there's really, really no need for an extra video after this. But we have credits that I get to talk over very slowly because they are slow, but yeah, we have Mayam 
Nigimoto, um, not even gonna try and pronounce any more names, because I cannot talk like a pirate, or Japanese, or anything like that, Ugh. just, they probably shouldn't try and skip them, because I shouldn't, but, um, yeah, these are the credits for this game, and, um, we get to see all these moments that we didn't see of Mario doing all the things we've done, and, like, None of them are spoilers anymore, obviously, unless it shows, like, the epilogue, which would be really silly, because it's not possible to do the epilogue by this point. Anyway, well, I, I'm, I might actually, you know what, I will make it one more video, I'll make an extra video, so this is gonna be two more videos, I guess, but then, because I have, I'm actually gonna, in the other one, I, there's one or two things I want to do, and I will do them, that I'm actually involve the other plumber, the one who it isn't as much that's right now, the guy in red, the less famous plumber, Mario, even though I've been saying Super Mario Galaxy this whole LP because of reasons, but I'm going to show off a few things with him as well, mostly I'm um, getting the under and mostly doing the epilogue with him, and a few other things, but that's besides the point. Anyway, I'm it's just almost done yet. Like, I'm not good at talking over long credits that don't really have anything to go with them and I can't even hear the game. Which I really, really need to get that AP spot. Because, well, my method for recording won't be much. It'll be one less program with an AV splitter and it'll be a lot less editing with an AV splitter, but also I'll be able to hear the game that I play, which is nice. Anyway, so we have the credits, they are credits, they are crediting those people who should be credited for the game, and also, oh well, I remember that story, I, I, a lot of this stuff was so long ago, I don't really remember it, it's kind of like weird coming back and just polishing off so little of the game now, after doing so much of it so long ago, but Hey, there's Luigi, and his brother Mario. That actually looks quite nice, but, um, we're gonna load up the game once this is done, and, um, show off a few things. Get the true, fully 100% file, as well as one or two other things. Um, once this is done. Yeah. Basically. Can't believe I'm finishing an LP again. It'll be long enough. But um Spiral 2 will most likely be the next one I finish. I've actually already finished recording it, um and then I'll be down to a somewhat reasonable number of LPs again. Um yeah. Okay, we're going to the producers. We must yeah, I ought Whatever his name is, the very end, it must almost be done. I'm thinking about grabbing dinner after this. Yeah, oh, I think there's actually a scene after the credits this time, if I'm not mistaken, which is, um, um, maybe a bit of a teaser for Galaxy 2, actually. I'm not doing Galaxy We're 2 any time soon, by the way. No, not yet. I don't know if I ever will. I, I most likely will, and I'll do as much of it with Luigi as humanly possible, but you can't do it all. Anyway. Yeah, this scene is only in this version we have a planet. A planet with a house. Actually, you'll probably recognize this planet. Yeah, this is the one from the very beginning. And Rosemary is like, okay, time to go. Right? I think, um, yeah. She likes this planet. She looks forward to really visiting it every time. Thank you. I was being quiet there in case she actually spoke her entire line, and I don't want to talk over Rosina's voice acting anyway. She now leaves. Hey, we got to see her legs for some reason. I don't know, anyway, she's gonna, I think she leaves. Did she just go into a random house first? Okay. Anyway, now she's gonna fly away. 
because Rosalina can fly back to the starship. Rosalina? Pretty potent, then he's gonna fly away, right? But, here's the thing. On that pendant. In the ruins of a starship. In the ruins of a star shroom, actually. The silver luna stayed there. But why? And the grand finale galaxy is now open. Let's save our game. But yeah, that's actually kind of a teaser for Galaxy 2. Anyway, yeah, and this is something awful. I have to sign out. See you all next time.